what's up everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm paris and i make videos all about candle making and the starting and managing of my small candle business lady simone candle co today we are unboxing my new shipping label printer i am super excited i finally got one you know since starting my candle business funds were limited and so i always printed out my shipping labels um, when i was processing orders just on regular eight and a half by eleven printing paper and just cutting it out and taping it to the box and i think i've gotten in such a routine in doing that um the label printer has always been in, in the back of my head but i just never put the foot forward to buy one but i finally bought one and i'm super excited to get it all set up and going for this new year so i'm taking you along with me to unbox it and get everything set up so let's just get started so here it is um i purchased it off of amazon and so um i can actually link this in my amazon store and i'll link it well yeah my amazon storefront and i'll link it on my candle making supply list that is in Lady C's Digital Studio. Um, so make sure you're subscribed to the studio so you can get access to my list. But I got this off Amazon. It was $189.99, I believe. But I actually purchased it with along with some extra labels, Rolo labels and um, the little tray for the labels to sit in so total i paid like 225 bucks for all three of those items and so here is what it looks like and then i have my laptop over here so we can start setting things up so i am going to it's already cracked the tape because i kind of already opened it <laughs> and read through some things so i can know how we can how we're going to set things up so it came with um came with some alcohol swab like wipes um i guess that's like to clean clean things off and then it just came with um some helpful cards so for example if you have questions they give you contact information um other options to save on shipping and then just some quick tips on um printing um depending on your paper setup so I just went on and put all of these back in this little plastic thing. And here is the actual user guide. And then here are um, Rolo labels here to get a, to get you started. So these are the four by six Rolo labels that it automatically comes with to get us started with printing. So let's go ahead and get the insides out. So here is the USB cord that it comes with, the port. So we got that, which I know I'll need. Um, go ahead and get this open. Oops. And then here is the actual printer. Here's what it looks like. This is the back and this is the front. And then let's see what we have on in this box. Oh. And here is um, the power, the port and the um, power cord, obviously. All right. And obviously the instructions. So let's go ahead and get things set up. So quick start, we'll start with the quick start. <laughs> so it says ensure that the printer is off. And it is, yes, it is turned off. And then you wanna connect the power cable. So I'm literally just following the instructions. And so here is the power cable, let's make it sure. right stuff so you want to go ahead and connect the power cable which connect it back here you got that in and then connect the USB which is step three 
So here's the USB. And that goes right next to the power, the power cord. Or does it? Hold on, wait a minute. Oh, wrong end. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like, that looks a little too big for that slot. Okay. It says continue to driver installation. Okay, so before we get to installing the driver and everything, um, I got everything plugged up. I plugged in the USB to my laptop um, the you, and then connected it to the Rolo printer, plugged in the power um, port here and plugged it in back here to my wall. And so now we are going to, and I've turned it on. And so it's blinking red right now. Um, because we need to install our labels and go ahead and have Rolo recognize our labels. And so according to the instructions and the little intro video, two minute intro video that I was watching, um, your label should be um, entered into the Rolo printer, fake labels, label side facing up. And then these two purple um, slots here is how you adjust it to your label size. So we need to expand these and enter, put the label in and adjust it so that it is, it fits properly. Kind of like you would a printer tray uh, when you're installing paper. And then close it and we need to hold down this green button so that way Rolo can begin to recognize the printer paper and size. So it says to hold this down until you hear a beep and it is actually feeding through so it can begin recognizing your paper. And it is done. So once that's done, then we can move on to the next steps. Okay, I turned the um, camera around so you can watch me install everything. So here you wanna, when it comes to installing your driver, you go to rollo.com slash driver and it will bring you to this page and you wanna choose your printer. So I have the wired printer, so I'm going to click that. This is the intro video that I actually already watched, so I'm just gonna skip over to install driver. Here is where you want to download the Windows driver. So we're going to click that because I am on a Windows computer. And we're going to go ahead and open the downloaded file. And go ahead and run the installation and click yes. We're gonna go ahead and install. Okay, so now that I have the driver um, installed and everything, um, we are going to go ahead and print, do it, get, get our label set up in our printer. So I went to my Shopify store and I pulled an archived order so I can reprint the label without being charged. <laughs> so when you are in your printer settings, um, so for example, you know, when you're actually getting ready to print something in your printer page or window pop up. So what you wanna do is um, locate your Rolo printer, which is up here. And and the label is actually off, like off to the side, but I'm, I don't wanna show it because that's, you know, personal addresses and stuff. Um, and then you want to choose printing preferences so you can choose your paper size but for me my paper size is already here under um, my settings and so you want to choose the paper size which looks like yeah it will be 
this one, 100 millimeters by 145 millimeters based on the instructions here. And then it tells me to save my settings and continue to the label setup. So that's what we'll do. Okay, so for the label setup, we pretty much already did this already. Now that I'm reading it, um, it's pretty much just getting your label into your actual Rolo printer and making sure that Rolo recognizes the label size and all of that good stuff. So we actually did that already in the beginning when I did the um, intro video, when I did watch the setup video. So that's already done. So we're gonna go ahead and do a test print and see how everything turns out. Y'all. <laughs> when I tried to print, I mean, you can't really see it, but this is how it came out. Like this little piece on this whole label. So of course I'm like, oh my gosh, like what am I doing wrong? Because I did the self test through Shopify. So I'm like, okay, everything should be good. Um, everything is, you know, calibrated correctly. So what's going on? So if you are a Shopify user, let me help you out because I just figured this out. So I'm going to turn the camera around to show you how to not only test, but then what to do when you are processing and fulfilling orders. All right, y'all. So this is the back end of my Shopify store, but I'm in the settings area. So what you want to do is go to shipping and delivery. And these are for my Shopify users. You want to scroll all the way down. And here under um, Shopify shipping, here are your label formats, right? So right now my computer or Shopify is configured to print label, letter size. So what's going on is it showed up like that on the shipping label because Shopify is scaled to the eight and a half by 11, but the Rolo printer is like scaling it down to four by six as if it was on an eight by five to 11 paper so that's why it came out like that and so what you want to do is come here to the thermal four by six area and actually guys my label size the four by six is actually 100 millimeters by 150 i think earlier i said 100 millimeters by 145 so i apologize for my error but here you want to print test label go up here to print it's already set to Rolo printer. All of my settings are already straight, 100 by 150, blah, blah, blah. So we're good there. So you wanna go ahead and print. There we go. So it printed correctly. So this is just a test print. So that's how you know that it's configured correctly. So once you actually go to process orders though, um, what you want to do is it's, it's when you go to process orders, um, which I'm here in an archived order, but when you go to actually fulfill a new order, what you want to do is you want, when you go to create a new label, you know, to actually purchase your label, um, and you go to print shipping label here, and these are for my Shopify people. So if you have Shopify, you know exactly the area I'm talking about. You want to click change format. And when you change the format, you actually select thermal and hit save. And that way now shop, you're telling Shopify, this is how I want it to print from going forward. So I just wanted to plug that in because I went to the Shopify help center to make sure that I was doing everything correctly. So it wasn't the printer. It wasn't, you know, anything I was doing wrong. It was simply just this, a settings issue. And so do your test print to make sure Shopify is configured correctly, like I just showed you. But then when you go to process a new order, you have to actually manually change the format and hit save. So that is how you print directly from Shopify if you're using the Shopify. Um, if you're printing from Shopify, other than like a third party, like a print station or, um, you know, another discounted shipping labels per, um, platform. So, 
All right, so now I actually wanna get into just some small discussion about what to kind of look for when looking for a label printer because I'm the type of person, especially with my business coin, I am very, very, like I overanalyze things before I make big, um, you know, investments or I know a $189 printer may not sound like a big investment, but it is to me. That's $200 for my business account that I worked hard for and I wanna make sure you know, anything that I buy for my business is beneficial. So here are three tips for what to look for in a, in a label printer. Number one is the size of the shipping label. So as you can see, I had to do some configuration and some settings, um, switch ups, right? So you want to make sure you understand not only the proper label size for the carrier that you use. So I ship um, through USPS and these are the size labels that they typically use um, um and so you not only want to make sure you're you know using correct labels for the carrier that you use but you also want to make sure that it's configured correctly with the platform that you ship from so even if it's shopify etsy amazon any places like that or a third-party shipping platform like a ship station um you want to make sure that your settings and everything is configured properly. Um, and so do research, go to the help center if that's if that's helpful, just like you kind of saw that I did. Do some test um, prints and make sure everything is cool. Make sure it's legible um, so that way there's no issues when it comes time to actually shipping your orders through your carrier. Number two, the next thing that I made that I looked into and researched heavily before purchasing and going with the Rolo printer is the resolution and printing speed. So um, I wanted to make sure that, you know, I chose a printer that um, had great resolution because they have to read the barcode. They have to scan everything when they're processing your orders. Um, with, that your carrier is processing so you want something that's legible you want to you don't want your carriers to have any issues because that's only going to impact your end customer right they're going to be contacting you asking you where they stuff at um nine times out of ten they're not going to follow up with usps or whoever you ship through they're going to follow up with you as the business owner who they purchase their candle from so resolution is absolutely important i wanted to make sure that the thermal printer that i use and this is a direct thermal printer um and this is wired this is the wired version um you want to make sure that it's legible so that's why i i've done like multiple print tests these are all print tests i wanted to make sure that everything looked great um even with the the test print one where is it is it this one i want to make sure yeah i want to make sure that it was legible so you know and that the ink shows up properly the barcode is not you know sketchy looking to where the carrier is, you know, it won't scan properly. Um, I've had had that issue before actually um, when dropping off um, packages before because my actual, you know how when your home printer, the ink is starting to run out, the, the printing looks a little sketchy. So you wanna make sure that that is good. And then printing speed, right? Um, I mean, I printed from my home printer for the past three years and it prints like a home printer and this baby prints it just spits it right out so that was one thing that i was looking for because i am trying to um, be more efficient in my processing and so you want to look for shipping speed and just do your research and read up on um, those things the last tip that I want to give is just looking for a thermal printer that is compatible for your software and um, it can configure to the platform that you're using and the type of computer that you're using, whether it's a laptop or an actual desktop. And so um, I do have a laptop and I have Shopify as my platform for my e-commerce store. So when I was researching the Rolo printer, I kept seeing that it was compatible with Etsy and Amazon. And I'm like, is it compatible with Shopify? Like a Shopify wasn't like the thing that popped out when I was doing research. So I went to the Shopify help center and researched thermal printers. And yes, it does. Um, it is compatible with Shopify and printing through that platform. Um, so if you're wondering about that, you're good to go. <laughs> and it's also compatible with other third party 
shipping platforms as well, for example, ShipStation. And so you wanna make sure when you're doing your research that you're not just buying a thermal printer off whim, You it is compatible with who you sh ship through, your e-commerce platform, and then it's also com um, compatible with your laptop or computer. If you're wondering if it's compatible with Mac, it is, the Mac instructions are in here as well um, when setting it up. And again, I am not a tech chick like that. <laughs> so I'm always looking for easy at home setup, which this printer was pretty easy to set up as you can see in the video. The only thing I had to figure out was just my, <laughs> my label settings, obviously, when I was trying to um, configure everything. And so it is compatible, everything printed out great. Um, it's legible, it looks good. It was easy to set up here at home, downloading and installing the drivers. I don't know what drivers are, but it was easy to install. <laughs> and everything connected properly with the USB cord and the ports and everything. So um, the instructions were helpful. They include an um, a video that you can watch to help you install. They also included a video that you can um, watch to actually help you install your drivers as well on a Windows and Mac so that was very very helpful so those are my top three tips on what you should look for and research when shopping for a thermal printer I hope you all have enjoyed this video um, and please do not forget to like comment and subscribe I need to get in a better habit of saying that even though you all are really good with doing that anyway but if I have any new viewers out there please like comment and subscribe to my channel my videos I um, do my best to provide the type of content that not only you all request but to give you some behind the scenes on how I am actually running and streamlining and operating Lady Simone Candle Co. So until next time, bye guys.